Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This episode we're going to be doing something really quite spectacular. We're going to be making homemade orange juice. So recently just got a bunch of oranges and we didn't really have anything to do with them. So we figured why not just make homemade orange juice. So I'm going to take you guys through the process and show you how I'm going to make it. The first thing I needed to do was get out the mixer. And what I did is I moved the tray over because that's where the juice is going to be coming out of, off to the side. And then now I'm unwrapping the cord. And I'm just doing that so there's more room to put in the next few things. Because otherwise the cord will be stuck there and it'll be harder to get out. I'm not going to plug it in yet for safety reasons. So there are a couple more parts to the mixer that I need to add. The first is this funnel, which has a hole off to the side for where the juice comes out of. But in order to remove pulp and seeds from the orange juice, I'm going to need a small strainer that goes in it. And then the actual part that juices the orange is that little thingy that goes on the top. And then the whole assembly has a shaft that goes right into the top of the mixer. You can see that hole in the funnel is off to the side. And that's why I had to move the tray over. And don't worry, I will be putting a I will be putting a container on top of the tray. It's not just gonna splatter everywhere. And there's the container I was talking about. I got a nice lid for it, but we don't need that yet. And then now I'm getting out the oranges. So from the open bag I had, there were four left. So now I'm going to move on to the next part of, part of the juicing process. So now I have a cutting board, which is part of the juicing process. Well, it's actually prepping for the juicing process. What I need to do is I actually need to cut the oranges in half. So that way I can press the flat part of it against the juicer, and then it'll squeeze all of the juice out. That's how it works. So in this next little part here, I'm going to actually show you the first part in real time, and then I'll just speed it up for a time lapse. So you guys can see here that I'm cutting open the first orange. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one half aside. I'm going to take the other half and I'm going to press it on top. And then what since it is rotating, the little part on in it, I'm not sure what to call it. It's squeezing all of the orange juice out because I'm pressing the orange against the sides of it. And then the juice is coming out into the container through the funnel and all the seeds and pulp get stuck in the strainer. So it's really quite an interesting process and it, it's really fun to do. You can see the empty orange peel and then I just go ahead and do the other half. So this is only my second time doing this so I don't have a ton of experience but I will say one thing. It is a really great hand massage because the the whole thing is vibrating a lot. So it's almost therapeutic. Alright guys, at this point I have run out of oranges from the first pack. We only had five left. 
and that only gave us about a half of this container and I'd like to make almost a full container so I'm going to get some more oranges from the next pack. I have a bunch more oranges here. I'm not going to use all of them. There's like 10 in here. Let's see. No, there's 9 in here. I'm not going to use all of them. Probably like 4 or 5, half of them. So, so let's get back to the process of juicing. Alright guys, I'm all finished. I'm gonna snap a lid on it now. And also, I'd just like you guys to take a look. You know, I'll just move the camera. Take a look at the big mess inside of it. That's all the pulp and seeds, as I already mentioned. So, that's gonna have to get cleaned pretty well afterwards. But it's better to have that in there, because otherwise there would be seeds and pulp in it my juice which would not be pleasant so I'm gonna leave this over here right now so it doesn't drip into the pan all right so now is the process of cleaning it so I guess I'll run through a little time lapse of that uh, you know what nah, we don't need it all right guys it has been a day now I have and I wanted to wait till after I have tried some of it and it tastes so good, you guys can see here. So this orange juice is, you can truly tell that this is 100% orange juice because, you know, it doesn't have any sugar in it. It's only made from oranges. It's the only ingredient. Also, no seeds. Might be a little bit of pulp, but the strainer should have gotten rid of most of the pulp from the orange. So guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then feel free to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!